Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today my favorite makeup is my lipstick today. It's by Kat Von D. It's the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Plan 9. It's one of the newer shades that came out. I think it's exclusively available on the Kat Von D Beauty website as opposed to at Sephora. But this is a lovely green. I've really been enjoying it today and it's going to pair really nicely with some of the products I'm going to show you. So let's get started. So to be perfectly honest, I haven't done a lot of product demos lately because there hasn't been anything worth buying. So it's sort of like an inadvertent no-buy that I didn't do on purpose. But there were a few things that came up recently that I did decide to pick up and these were both from Sephora. The first one is by Stila. This is one of the Glitter and Glow highlighters. This is in the shade Admiral. This is an online only exclusive for the Sephora website. Uh, so you can't purchase this one in stores. At least I haven't seen this one particularly. And the reason I purchased this is because these were half price during one of those like weekly wow situations. So this is only $16. Honestly, for me, this felt worth it for $16 because I did want to try out the formula. I do really love the glitter and glow eyeshadows, but I wasn't going to spend money on the highlighters because I just didn't know if I'd be able to get through them quickly. And uh, it's not a ton of product in here, and I much prefer usually to use a powder. But for $16, I did want to try this out. In addition, sort of on a theme, I also picked up this. This is the Kat Von D. This is the Alchemist Holographic Transformer. This is a single shade. This is a teal shade. Uh, aquamarine as it were so it's just a single shade there and it does still come in the tiny little packaging if you want to compare it to like the regular Alchemist palette this is the size differential you're working with here so it's definitely the same kind of adorable little packaging but it's much tinier and you're only getting one of these now this I did find in stores for $19 but on the website at least when I picked it up this was only $14 for no particular reason. It's not like it was on sale one place or the other. It might just be a pricing mistake on Sephora's part and I figured I'd take advantage so I did end up ordering this online. So this is a face and eye highlighter is how this is you know mentioned. I think the Alchemist palette is also considered to be the same thing but they also market that you can put this on top of lipstick which I do a lot I think it's great for that the difference is this is a much glitterier formula than the Alchemist palette so I'm going to show you some swatches so you can see the difference and also I'm going to put on this highlighter as well so both of these are going to get used today and I'll add them on top of the makeup I'm currently wearing first up we're going to be applying this Stila glitter highlighter this again is in the shade Admiral I'll also give you a swatch so you can see what we're looking at here and it's sort of like a beautiful, subtle, greeny, like there's some blue in it. There's sort of like a purple undertone to some of the glitter, which I found kind of interesting, but I liked it. Uh, again, I love the glitter and glow eyeshadow, but I just wasn't sure about these highlighters because they were more expensive than that. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I, there's only so many highlighters I should buy because I certainly can't use them all. So what I've heard is that you just sort of like tap this onto the cheek and then I'm gonna blend it out. So I'm just gonna get that on the high points of my face. And that was just, you know, one one go in there. And then sort of bring that up. Let's put it this way. If you don't like glittery products, you shouldn't be ordering this guy. Because I mean, it's in the name that this is gonna be glittery. And so there's how that highlight is gonna look. I mean, I think it's very pretty. I'm enjoying it. Um, I did wear this out for a couple of days. I wanted to see how it wore. Uh, I find that it wears pretty well. It sort of, there's some comparisons to some other products that I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. But as far as I can say, in terms of a liquid glitter highlighter, this one's pretty good. I wouldn't say I like it better than my Cover FX Glitter Drops, but I think it's perfectly fine. And because this is plastic packaging, you might be more inclined to take it with you if you're traveling because those do come in a little glass bottle. Although I haven't had that problem with the Glitter Drops, it is something to think about. Do you want a glass bottle of glitter in your bag? Maybe you do. I don't know. So as far as I can tell, like I got several hours of wear out of this before it started to you know, flake off a little bit. It wasn't anything particularly bad, but again, it's not my favorite highlighter formula, but I am excited to have tried it out. Uh, I don't regret the purchase. Uh, it's just not as good as other things existing in my collection, but for a liquid highlighter, I do think it is quite good, and I think it was definitely worth the sale price. Would I have paid full price for this? No, I don't think I would have gotten enough use of it, of it to be perfectly honest, but I do enjoy it at the sale price, and I think, as always, uh, Stila comes out with some pretty great products, so I am a fan of this. So as you can see, the Stila Glitter and Glow in Admiral is the top left-hand shade. I also include the Kat Von D Aquamarine that I'll talk about more later because it is a similar sort of glitter effect. 
The cover of X Glitter Drop in Lunar is the closest to Admiral that I own, but I also included a lot of the other blue and green highlighters in my collection. So some Anastasia Beverly Hills, some BH Cosmetics, uh, the Kat Von D Metal Crush highlighter in Helix is also a similar sort of like glitteriness, but not the same color whatsoever. Though there is now a Kat Von D Instaphonic in a blue shade, it's not the same as the shade that you're going to get here with the Stila. Mini Alchemist Holographic Transformer. So this aquamarine shade, this is a very glittery shade. And when I say that, I mean very glittery shade. This is very reminiscent of the Metal Crush highlighters. It's not marketed as such, but it appears very similar to it. And when I do the swatches, uh, that's separate uh, since I had a lot of colors to go through. You will see that it is very similar and looking the same on my arm as well as some of the Metal Crush highlighter. So again, I think it's a very similar product, but I don't find that I have much luck using the Metal Crush product on top of like my lips or that sort of thing. So I was a little concerned that this wasn't going to go. But we're going to add this now to the top of the lipstick that I am wearing so you can see what that looks like. And that's just with the transformer on top. Um, I found that this actually worked pretty well uh, when I wore it out. Um, it didn't really come off any more than the regular Alchemist palette does. I mean, I think a little bit of sponging like on a glass or something like that. I tend to like using the Alchemist palette because it sort of sets my lipstick down and then it does not come off. Sometimes the glitter will come off, but the lipstick itself stays on a lot better. Um, I found that that was also the case with this. I was actually pleasantly surprised. Again, this is very glittery and it can be a little bit chunky in this tiny little palette, but I felt, at least as a lip product, it really worked for me. Uh, in terms of a highlighter, I think it worked pretty similar to the Metal Crush, which I do like and I think they have pretty good longevity. They're not my favorite in terms of glitter highlighters. I do prefer the Cover FX Glitter Drops, but I think it's a perfectly good highlighter shade. If you use this as an eyeshadow topper, I find that it's really good as sort of like an accent color, but I wouldn't use it just by itself. Like I'll put it just on this side so you can see what I'm talking about. It's kind of not enough just on its own. Like I find it's a little bit too subtle. There's no like base coat to it in the way that the Alchemist palette does have sort of like a base color. I'll put one of those on the other side so you can see what I mean. And so this is the side with the regular Alchemist palette and this is the glitter transformer. So again, it doesn't have quite as much pigmentation to it. Also, you can really get that inner corner highlight if that's what you're going for. Because I feel like this takes a little bit more doing. However, they layer very nicely. So if you just wanted to take a little bit of this teal shade and you know, pop it in the center here to sort of like bump this up, then I think you're going to get a really nice look there. So I do like it if I add it as sort of an accent piece to another shade, but it doesn't have a lot going on for itself just by itself. In terms of fallout, this can have a little bit of fallout if you're putting it on your eyes and you have a little bit of a chunk when you're swiping out with your finger. Again, I don't use this with a brush. I don't use the regular Alchemist palette with a brush either. Don't think it works that well if you do. Um, so and, unless I'm trying to make it as a highlighter, but I, it's almost easier to just swipe it on with your fingers and then blend it out with the brush. This can get a little bit chunky, so you do need to be aware of that. The Alchemist palette, the regular one, does not behave that way but this is much more akin to the Metal Crush highlighters. So as far as I'm concerned for $14, I do like this as a lip topper. I think it's very cute packaging as always. You know, Kat Von D packaging is always very, you know, aesthetically pleasing to me, shall we say. Um, in terms of like having a base pigment to it, this one does not really have that. It's really just adding glitter on top. And uh, while it is pretty, I don't necessarily see the teal so much, especially when you're taking a look I mean, it is teal, but I, it almost turns a little more green as opposed to blue. Um, and since they are saying this is aquamarine, I would be expecting a little bit more of a blue undertone to it. But it really starts to go green, and then it starts to go a bit gold. So when you take a look at the Kat Von D Alchemist shades, you can see that there's a lot of good paste pigment for the pink, the ultraviolet, the blue, and the green. But when you look at this new teal shade, it's really just glitter, and I don't see a lot of color with it necessarily. So it's definitely good as a topper shade, but by itself it doesn't really add too much to a look. Although it does sparkle very beautifully in the light, as you'll see when I show the moving shade. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, do you actually need this? I'm not so sure that you do. It's probably fine, you know, if you just stick with the original Alchemist palette. Going all in on this inner corner highlight. It's a little bit much, but I'll blend it out a little bit later. I am going to go out and go to the grocery store, so why not go like this? You know, who cares?
it's just makeup we should have fun with it so as far as I'm feeling about both of these, I am pleased with both purchases. I was a little annoyed with Sephora that it took a little bit longer to get this package than I was expecting. And I also was annoyed about the fact that the three samples I requested, they were all not correct. Uh, I asked for like a, a Givenchy lipstick sample and I got like a Givenchy men's cologne, which is not very helpful to me. Um, and there was like a watermelon glow thing I was trying to get that didn't come uh, I forget what they threw in there and said but nothing I could actually use so it was either like a scent I didn't want uh, or a product that isn't actually for me so that was kind of frustrating but otherwise you know I was very pleased with the two products that I picked up uh, I'm also testing out some liquid lipsticks but that's not quite ready for a review so that's gonna come up in the future but overall I was very pleased with how these products did perform I do like them were they necessary I would say no uh, and if one single one of them had cost me $30, I would not find them to be worth it at all. I do think the Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter is worth like a $16 price point. I think that's about where it should be for what it is because similar to the liquid eyeshadow, I do think it's a great product. You're only going to be able to use a little bit at a time. It's very sparing in how much you really want to apply on there. It's not the greatest formula, but it's good. And then when you take a look at the Mini Alchemist, it's a single shade for $14. It's a pretty small pan. I do think it's a very nice transformer shade, but I probably would not have picked it up if I didn't already like the previous product so much. And it does behave pretty close to that. I don't think it's quite as good as a highlighter, but in terms of being a glitter highlighter, like a glitter topper that's going to add like some more oomph on top of things, I think it's great for that. And because the packaging is very cute and it does have a tiny mirror, you know, I'm not going to get mad at it. I'm going to throw it in the bag. I'll use it for when I'm feeling sassy and I want to add a little bit more glitter to my life. You know, I'm okay with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. There'll be some more content coming up this week. I'm going to film another video before I head out. I'm actually going to be traveling again for a little bit. I'm only going to be in my actual apartment about four days a week, and otherwise I'll be off doing a show for about three days every week. So it's going to get a little bit fun in there, but I'm still planning to try to do about three videos a week, and I should be on schedule for that. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great night, and I will see you soon. Bye!